Happy New Year to everyone. Here is to a great 2021. I hope you all reach your goals because I have not. I still got to complete this tier list and then my 2021 will be great. But anyway, you came here because you're wondering what switch to pair with your first mechanical keyboard. Now, let me make the answer really short right off the bat. For Osu, it is all preference. On my Twitter, I did a poll of what all your favorite switches are. And unsurprisingly, to me at least, linears are pretty much by far the most popular switch for Osu players. So if you wanted a short answer, there you go. If you really need the nitpicky stuff and the little things, like the sound, the weight, the key travel, like the tactility, all that, all that nerdy stuff. Don't worry, I like saving money too. So this video is gonna be divided into sections and you can skip to the sections that you actually care about, but I recommend watching the whole thing just in case you find that one thing that makes up your mind. All right, let's get started. All right, so what is a mechanical switch? Put simply, when a piece of metal reaches another piece of metal inside the switch, it activates. The difference in every switch comes from how they activate. You hear the words linear and tactile a lot, but what do they mean? What is actually happening? So I got these visuals from a few websites that I uh, linked down in the description. So these are red switches and they have a linear resistance, which means you'll feel literally nothing except the weight of pressing it down. Now you can see that brown switches are slightly different because they have a tactile resistance, which pretty much means you'll feel a bump on every press. Now clicky switches are pretty much exactly what they sound like. These blue switches have a clicky resistance, which means like tactile, you'll feel a bump, but you'll also hear the bump. Now this is usually where people are confused on what they should buy because they really don't know what they'll like. There are only a few ways for me to help you here. And one of them is going through majority opinion. Like I said earlier, I did a little poll and I also asked for some opinions from Osu players. And here are some examples. Nintendo Switch is pretty- What the f I like tactile because I really like the feeling of a bump and I know when I pressed a key. On the other hand, someone else says, tactiles feel like there's something wrong with the Switch and clickers are just pure annoying. So linear is the way to go. Someone else says clicky switches because they sound nice and are tactile. So as you can see, it really is preference. Everyone likes a certain switch for their own certain reason, but it's my job to make sure you know which switch you want. So let me give you some examples of why people like certain switches and don't like certain switches. So some people prefer linear switches because some of the tactile feedback messes with their Osu gameplay. For example, when you press down a tactile switch, you feel a bump when going down and coming back up. It can make you lose rhythm. Some people never realize it and some people really don't like it. Some people prefer tactile switches as not receiving a response when you press down leads to misclicks or clicks that never register. On linear switches, you have no way of knowing if you've passed the activation point. So if you were to press down again before you passed it, there is probably gonna be no key press and you'll probably miss. Some people prefer clicky switches because they have a hard time feeling the presses. So they like to register it in their head with oh. Some people like clicky switches because they like to register their clicks audibly. The audio feedback really works for some people. All right, now that you know the types of switches, let's talk about the switch colors. Now, before you ask, yes, I did only include the main, very well-known switches because for whatever keyboard or keypad you're purchasing, I didn't want the switch to be unavailable. For example, not every keyboard and keypad comes with glorious holy pandas, all right? Anyway, I made a flowchart that I linked down in the description, which sends you to your desired switch type depending on your preference. It's very simple, it's very simple. So let me go through what went on in my head when I was choosing my switch. So for me, I wanted a linear switch and I have quite the big of hands, so I wanted heavy switches because I like heavy switches for Osu, which is why I went with black switches. So pretty simple, you can go through it yourself if you'd like. Now, let me talk about another semi-important kind of thing. You may have seen some things like Cherry MX Reds, Gatoron Reds, KO Reds. There are many, many more, but these are the main three Switch brands. Cherry being the name brand, with the other two being clones. Now, this is where it gets kind of confusing. Every brand has their own way of manufacturing Switches, and there are an insane amount of variables that I just cannot go over. One of the websites that I linked has a chart of all the specs you would need on all the Switches, but if you like it simple and you're getting one of the well-known colors anyway, it probably won't matter as much. So, don't worry. All right, so now that you know pretty much all what you need to know, let me give my opinion and recommendation based on my experience. So one very, very important thing to note, make sure you think about more than just Osu when buying a keyboard. 
Think about how you're gonna feel when you're typing. Think about how you're gonna feel when you're playing other games. If you were thinking of getting the super light silver switches, think about that paper you'll have to write next week and how many times you're gonna mistype. You're gonna be pressing backspace more than you're typing. Or maybe you're playing something like Overwatch and Valorant and you misclick your ult or accidentally jump. Or maybe you were thinking of getting a clicky blue switch, but you forgot that your parents really hate it when you're really loud at night. These are all from my experiences. There are a lot of things to think about when you're choosing your switch, so make sure you don't make that mistake and waste a lot of money. If you're still unsure, there are some cheap switch testers online, but to be honest with you, at that point, you might as well buy an Osu keypad. There are no bad switches, just like there is no best switch. If you like it, it's good. If you don't like it, then it's bad. As for me, I'm gonna stick with my keypad that has Cherry MX Blacks on them because I really like the weight. This video was actually supposed to be about this keypad and all of its switches, but I ended up making this instead because I thought it'd work better. And I'm actually quite glad because this video was a lot better than what that video would become. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you in any way, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'm excited for all the things that I'm creating in 2021 and I hope you'll be there too. If you really liked the video, you can join my Discord, follow my Twitter, and my Twitch. If you're still here, I'm really surprised because usually uh, I would have clicked off already. To be honest with you, you know, it's kind of crazy that you're still. Why are you? Why are you still here?